Hi friends, today we're building something awesome. This giant Lego church. I have so many questions about church. Is the church the building or the people inside? What happens at church? Why do we go there? Let's dive into these questions while we build this together. Let's go. Juice box. <laughs> church is a word that brings a lot of different pictures to people's mind. What do you think of when you hear the word church? You might picture a beautiful building where people worship, and that is part of what we mean when we say church. Let's learn more about the building itself. There are a lot of different styles of churches throughout the world, but they all share some common features. Most churches will have steps leading up to the doors as a reminder that when we go to church, we are getting closer to heaven. The entryway is called the narthex, and that's the part you step into right after you open the doors. After that, it's the nave, which comes from the Latin word for boat. It's where everyone sits during Mass. It's called the nave as a reminder of Noah's Ark and how God redeems all of humanity. Noah's Ark was like a giant boat. The very front of the church is called the sanctuary. The sanctuary is where the priest stands during Mass. The two most important parts of the church are in the sanctuary, the altar and the tabernacle. The altar is important because that's where Jesus makes himself present in the Eucharist. The tabernacle, which normally looks like a large golden box, is where the extra Eucharist is kept after Mass, so people can come and talk to Jesus and know that he is there with them. Usually, to the side of the sanctuary is the sacristy and robing rooms. The sacristy is where the Eucharist bread and wine are kept when not being used with the clergy vestments and parish records or important books. Clergy may use the sacristy for robing or for private prayer. Our Lego church is starting to look super cool. Let's keep building. Those are some of the more important parts of the church building, but there are also lots of important things that happen inside of the church, like worship. Worship is a way that people who believe in Jesus and God come together to show their love and respect for Him. The Mass is the most important way that we worship at church because that's when Jesus makes Himself physically present to us. We go to church because Jesus is there. Being with Him now prepares us for being with Him forever in heaven. Isn't that so cool? Other important things that happen at church are prayer. People go there to pray, which is having a conversation with Jesus. There are many different ways to talk to Jesus. Everyone has their own unique way. Some common ways are reading scripture, learning about the lives of saints, and praying the rosary. There is also something called adoration, which is when Jesus, in the form of the Holy Eucharist, is displayed in a special holder called a monstrance. The monstrance is placed at the front of the church or in a special chapel, and people come to have some peaceful time with Jesus. It's like how you might sit quietly with a good friend you really like. While the church is a special place, and many special things happen inside of it, the church also has special jobs. The most important job of the church is to administer the sacraments. There are seven sacraments and all of them play an important role in the life of the world. Baptism, the Eucharist, Confirmation, Confession, Anointing of the Sick, Holy Orders, and Marriage. Sometimes when people talk about the church, they also mean us. How is that possible? While Jesus was still active in his ministry, he appointed one of his closest friends and followers to be the leader of the church. This friend was named St. Peter. St. Peter was the first pope or a leader of the church. From that point on, there has always been a pope anointed as leader of the church. 
Jesus promised to give St. Peter the keys to the kingdom of heaven, which means he wanted St. Peter to watch over the church until Jesus comes back. St. Paul throughout his letters talks about the church as the body of Christ. Jesus is like the head of the body, in control and showing where it will go, and each of us makes up a part of the body. Wow, that looks amazing! At the end of the day, the church isn't just a beautiful building where we worship God. The church is also you. You are a member of Christ's body here on earth. When you treat your siblings with kindness or do something nice for your mom, you are reflecting Jesus, just like we are all called to do. Building this beautiful church was so fun. We learned so much about what a church is, who is part of the church, and the important job that it has. I can't wait to build more cool things with you. Until next time, friends. Bye! Feels back.